Hi, this is Rick Romine, and welcome to How To Wilderness. When traveling in the wilderness, it's critical that you remain hydrated, but you also want to make sure that the water you're drinking is safe. Although it may look clean, the water may actually contain microorganisms such as Giardia, which can cause serious intestinal problems. To be on the safe side, always treat your water. There are four main ways to treat water. You can boil it, you can chemically treat it, you can filter it, or you can zap it with a UV light. We'll show you examples of all four of those. The safest and most effective way of treating water is by boiling. You take the water directly from the lake or stream, put it in a pan, put that on a stove, and bring it up to a roaring boil. Any microorganisms, bacteria, including viruses, will be killed by boiling water. The obvious downside to boiling is that it takes a significant amount of time and resources. Not only do you need to set up to boil the water, but you need time for the water to cool back down. If there's any doubt about the safety of the water, the most effective vehicle is boiling. Another technique of purifying water is to use chemical tablets. These chemical tablets are either based on chlorine or iodine and they can be purchased at any backpacking store. You gather the water from the source and based on the instructions you put the appropriate number of tablets directly inside the water. Now one of the downsides of chemically treating water is that it leaves a distinctive aftertaste, the taste of either chlorine or iodine. Many people will mask that taste by putting water flavoring in, uh, perhaps Crystal Light or Gatorade or other kind of powders. Just be sure that you allow the chemicals to completely sterilize the water before you put the flavoring in. Sometimes the flavoring will actually interfere with the purification process. Many people prefer to treat their water using a filter. By forcing water through very small pores in the 0.2 micron range, you can successfully filter out bacteria and protozoan parasites. One of the disadvantages of a filter is that it is a mechanical device and therefore it needs to be properly maintained. One of the advantages, though, of a water filter is that you can use the water immediately. There's no waiting for any processing. Once you have successfully forced the water through the filter, and it's either a paper filter or in some cases a ceramic cartridge, um, the water is safe to drink. Another advantage of filters is taste. There's no chemicals that have to react, such as chlorine or iodine, that's going to impact the flavor of the water. In fact, many of the cartridges have charcoal embedded in them to sweeten the water. Water filters have become extremely popular, and I think for many people, they're the primary means of water purification. The primary advantage to treating water with a UV light is convenience. The UV light itself is extremely portable, that can be placed directly into the bottle. When you're traveling along the trail and you stop at a small stream, it's very easy, you can come off your belt. The downside, however, to treating with the UV light is that it does rely on technology. There are batteries that are required to operate if the batteries go dead or if you drop or break this. Um, I don't recommend that this be your only source of water treatment. However, I do find it to be a very convenient along the trail water treatment vehicle. It's very important that you stay hydrated. We want you to drink lots of water, but we want you to do it safely. Remember, you can do it in the wilderness. We'll show you how.